Hello everybody and welcome back to Wedding Wednesday. So today is a very exciting day because I get to show you guys my wedding shoes. I'm also just gonna talk about just like accessories in general and um, where I got them, places that I almost got them but didn't, but just giving you guys some ideas if you still need a veil, shoes, earrings, bracelets, all that good stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my earrings. Now, I'm pretty bummed because I actually ordered them like over a week ago. I think it was like eight days ago when I ordered them and they're still not here. So keep that in mind when ordering from this place, but they do have a ton of great options and they're super affordable. Um, the pair that I got are, were only like $32 and uh, I definitely didn't want to spend too much on wedding jewelry just because I, I don't like having like expense, like I've never been a fan of expensive jewelry except for like obviously my wedding rings. Um, I just like worry about losing them too much, worry about them breaking and all that good stuff. So this jewelry company is called Eight Other Reasons and I actually had like three or four that I was trying to narrow it down from, from this site. Uh, but they're all super affordable, super cute, super elegant. So um, I'll make sure to link that site below and make sure you go check it out. Revolve also had a ton of good options. Um, they're not fine jewelry per se, but they were in, you know, the range of anywhere from 40 to 200. And again, personally, I just like wasn't looking to pay $200 for earrings. A um, hundred I like toyed with, but I was like, meh. Like, I don't know if I don't love these. I have one other backup pair, which I will share. Um, that's on Revolve that is about a hundred. Um, and that's in, in case I like absolutely don't like the pair that I ordered. So I'm not gonna show you guys my actual veil yet um, because I'm, you know, I wanna keep that like a part of like the look. Um, but I did finally get it in the mail. And guys, I'm so excited because this veil is like, it's like a custom veil. Um, and I really wanted that because I feel like veils are the things that end up being passed down as heirlooms or being used as like the something borrowed for like years and years and years to come and the something old, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really excited about this because hopefully, you know, if one day I have a daughter or um, if I have a son and the daughter wants to wear it, whatever it may be, um, <laughs> this could possibly be like a family thing that gets passed down like on and on and on and on. So I'm really excited about that. However, before I came to the decision to put this effort into my veil, um, I found a lot of really good ones from Beholden and also Etsy had like a bunch of good ones. So my veil designer is Daphne Newman and she is like the sweetest, coolest person. We FaceTimed to talk about, you know, what I envisioned and all that. And she is just like a genius and she nailed it. And she has tons of other stuff for brides on her site. I will link it below. Um, truly such a great company. Uh, I'm literally so honored and excited to be wearing a veil by her. So for nail color, I was like, is this an accessory? I was like, yes it is. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna go with funny bunny for my nails, uh, for my nail color for the actual wedding day. Um, I usually am a big fan of Alpine snow, but I don't know, I was looking at pictures. It's like, it's almost like too bright. And obviously funny bunny is just like a little bit more of like a muted white. So I've decided I'm gonna go with funny bunny. Um, I toyed for a while with uh, mimosas for the Mr. and Mrs. Um, Cause it's like a really pretty pink. Uh, but I, all my colors are just white and gold. So I decided I'm just gonna stay with white for my nails, but that's another good option if you're looking for one. I also love Mod About You. I love Lisbon Once More and I love Let's Be Friends. Those are all really pretty like pink, like dainty pink colors. So if you're in the market for a nail color, there's some good ones. I'll put them below for all my favorite like neutral whites and pinks. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys. They're in here. I'm so excited. So the company that I went with, um, they're called Bella Bell. And what I love about them is they're known as the 12 hour shoe. 
and I always knew that I wanted to wear heels on my wedding day because number one, I'm not the tallest person in the world and just heels make me feel like a more elevated, put together version of myself. So there was never any question that I didn't want to wear heels. So when it came down to it, I was like, okay, well, I need to find heels that aren't going to kill my feet after an hour. Like I want to wear them all night. So Bella Bell, they, guys, I'm not, okay, look, look how beautiful. Oh, that little dust bag. So these shoes are handmade and they are stunning and they have they're so padded in the front I'll, sh I'll try and show you guys but when i put them on i was like oh my gosh like it feels like i'm walking on a cloud okay okay i'm ready here they are i love them so much so you can actually uh take this bow off if you want which i might for the reception but i haven't decided yet uh but yeah they're they just strap in the front like so and they are so beautiful you guys it's got this like it's got this satin strap right here um oh my gosh i just love them so much like they're perfect they're everything i wanted them to be and more but yeah i don't know you can't really tell from this angle but there is like a thick pad right here like you can kind of kind of see it from that with the light right here but these are gonna be comfortable and I'm gonna dance all night in these and I'm so excited. I haven't even like taken this one out of the bag yet cause I'm like, I wanna save it, but uh, I love them so much. So definitely check out Bella Bell if you haven't gotten your shoes yet. Um, they're a little bit more of an investment, but again, if you're gonna be buying two pairs of shoes because you're changing out of your heels because they're uncomfortable, it's like you might as well spend a little bit more on shoes that are gonna be comfortable. So when I was picking my shoes, I was torn between this pair and then I'll show you the other pair I was torn between, but they have so many stunning options. And they also have, if you're not getting married, they also have like evening shoes, like they have black shoes and like all that. If you just need like a good pair of comfortable heels, definitely check out Bella Bell. Another thing I haven't decided on yet is I, I'm leaning towards no. I don't think I'm going to be wearing a necklace just because my earrings are like so loud. Um, but again, a place that I found lots of good jewelry, wedding jewelry from was also Beholden. ASOS has a ton. Revolve, of course, has a ton. Definitely lots of like great wedding jewelry options um, at those places. But for me personally, I was just like, I think I'm just gonna keep it with earrings. And then my wrists are too small to wear bracelets. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but that's why I never wear bracelets because they just do not stay on my wrists. Um, so bracelets were out for me, but <laughs> of course, you know, depending on your dress, you might like really need a necklace, want a necklace, whatever it may be, but all good places. So that's it for this video, quick little video. Um, I just felt like it was all in its own category that I wanted to make it its own video. Um, I will say I toyed with playing with like adding like the beauty stuff that I've been doing before the wedding in this video. Um, so I thought I'd just like briefly touch on that cause I don't know if I have enough for like a whole beauty video. Um, but I did get a gua sha, I think that's how you say it. And it's like a jade stone that you like, it's like an ancient Chinese technique or something. And it's supposed to like help your face, you know, look more structured or something. But I've been doing that every night. <laughs> um, and I ordered it on Amazon. It was like 11 bucks and it came with the gusha and a jade roller. So I'll link that below too. But I mean, I'm like, couldn't hurt. And everybody on TikTok is talking about it. I'm also whitening my teeth. Um, almost every night, just getting prepped. <laughs> and I plan on getting a facial um, about a week before the wedding. So that's really it as far as beauty goes. I'm definitely, like you guys know, I get Botox. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get a Botox touch up. I'm getting it three weeks before the wedding. So I'll be nice and, you know, frozen looking. I'm actually like, I haven't gotten Botox since uh, beginning of December. So right now it is like, I'm very not frozen. I got like a lot of movement going on around my eyes too. But it's definitely, I know so many brides that have decided to get Botox for their wedding and they've said it was like the best decision ever. Um, but definitely if it's like your first time, I suggest going three weeks to a month before, just because you don't know how long it's gonna last in your body and you want it to still look really like fresh 
for your wedding day. Um, I obviously I got some under eye filler as well, but I got that that was probably a month, month and a half ago. So if you're getting anything like lip filler or under eye filler, anything like that before your wedding, definitely go like before the eight week mark, um, just because it gives time, like your body time to like settle everything and um, if you need touch ups, all that good stuff. I will not be touching up my lips. I think they're a great size. My lips have lasted me. Let's see, the last time I got them done was November of 2019. Um, so my body's really starting to like hold on to my lip filler, which I am very happy about. So I will not be getting my lips touched up. Um, yeah, I think they're looking very like natural and good right now. So yeah, I got the under eye filler and Botox and that's also in the beauty department. I also have this little uh, Go Smile white pen that I take with me everywhere just because um, if I'm like, drinking wine or whatever, I just like touch it up. Like I'm probably gonna keep it with me at the wedding so I don't have like wine teeth, but that's only 20 bucks. I do that when I'm like not thinking about it cause you don't have to rinse or anything. It tastes like mint. I love that thing. I talk about it all the time. Um, I just did it before this actually and it really works. <laughs> so yeah, I'll link that for you guys below as well. I use Snow Teeth Whitening. I've talked about that before too, which is my all time favorite. It's the best if you have sensitive teeth, which I do like very sensitive, can't use white strips sensitive. So I will also link that below for you as well. All right guys, thanks for tuning in to this accessories slash things I'm doing for beauty prep for the wedding video. The next wedding Wednesday that I post will be exactly a month until the wedding. And I'm freaking out in like a good way, but also like lots of details haven't been done. So kind of a bad way. But yeah, next week I'm super excited because I'm going to my venue to pick out my table settings with my wedding planner. So that's gonna be a fun video. And then my shower is at the end of April. So that'll be the next vlog. Lots of good stuff coming up. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into this journey. All my brides out there, I feel you. There's lots of wine involved in my wedding planning now because my brain doesn't make decisions anymore and the wine just kind of helps me make it. <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll see you next Wednesday.